Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Navin. Uh, uh, today, I'm uh, giving a short presentation of my final project, which is drug recommendation system based on sentiment analysis of drug reviews using machine learning. <clears throat> the main goal of this presentation is to understand the multinomial naive bias model and its performance of our sentiment analysis. To accomplish this, I used a drug review data set, which, uh, which, con which, con which contains uh, user reviews and ratings for various drugs. Sentiment analysis is a process of identifying and extracting opinions, emotions, uh, and, and attitudes uh, expressed in text. It is used, it is used to classify reviews, uh, whether it's positive or negative, based on the text and rating. <clears throat> So why I'm using sentiment analysis is like uh, nowadays the electronic media has become uh, increasingly popular for uh, uh, obtaining medical information and uh, advices. Uh, there are numerical health information source online such as uh, government websites and uh, uh, non profitable organizations, medical institutions, uh, which ranges from uh, personal uh, personal experience, patient uh, discussion groups, and uh, peer review in articles. So using sentiment analysis gives us a broader perspective and uh, helps us to uh, give more inf information, informative decisions from this. So now I'll be uh, giving a broad, broad brief about our data set. So the data set I'm using uh, is a drug review data set from drugs.com, uh, which, which is a collection of patient review uh, uh, patient drug reviews uh, containing information such as drug name, condition of the condition which the drug is used, and uh, re review text rating and date date when the re review is been entered and uh, useful count uh, states uh, how many people are 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 used uh, the drug is useful for them. And uh, it contains total 215k instances in, in which the rate now I, the data I, I have divided into two files, which is training set uh, of uh, uh, training set and uh, test set, which is 75% and 25%. And within for training the model, I have uh, again uh, divided the training set into two, two sets, which is training and validation this time, which is 80% and 20%. So these are some of the visualizations to understand the data set properly. So you can see that uh, on X <clears throat> on uh, X axis uh, on on X axis there are number of reviews and Y axis are the rating uh, which comes to one to ten. So you can see that how many uh, people are reviewed based on uh, on the rating, like how, how much uh, the rating has the reviews like that. And in this visualization, you can see the top 20 drugs based on, on the number of reviews in the data set. The y-axis represents the dr drug name, and the x-axis represents uh, the number of reviews given to that particular drug. Uh, and uh, there's one more visualization. Uh, it shows the top 30 conditions based on the number of reviews uh, in the data set. The y-axis represents uh, the condition name and the access represents the number of reviews for each condition. This graph helps us uh, to understand the condition more prevalent in the data set. And so before training the model, uh, there, there are some steps need to be done for pre -process. There are some pre-processing steps need to be done uh, for handling the missing data. The, mostly the missing, uh, handling the missing data with the rating or the review if there is any data missing in that columns, I have been removed that uh, rows. And for labeling, I have created a new column named sentiment, uh, and it's uh, as uh, um, it it has a numerical value of zero or one. If the if zero indicates negative uh, sentiment and uh, one indicates positive sentiment, so if the rating is less than six, it is considered as negative uh, for six and. Uh, and if his rating is six or above, it is considered as positive review. So, uh, and uh, for the text processing, uh, I have uh, so the text is uh, th there are some steps need, need to need uh, uh, on the done on the text so that uh, we can train the model properly. For that purpose, we have following the 
steps uh, to convert that clean data, uh, converting all text into low cases, removing HTML tags, and removing special characters, numbers, and punctuations, and to tokenizing the text and removing stop words. So count vectorization is a pre-processing technique, uh, which I'll be explaining with a small example in the next slide. So let's uh, let let us consider an example of a review. Uh, the medication helped me a lot with uh, anxiety and stress. And uh, considering a user given a rating of nine. So firstly, uh, to extract the feature from the review text, it will be processed and converted into numerical data. Before that, we'll be labeling it. So for the labeling purpose, we'll uh, since it is given the rating nine, so it is considered as a post review. So, uh, and and after that we'll do the text processing so here you can see it is converted into um, medication helped lot anxiety stress and all the words have been removed in the between so after that uh, now we can uh, so uh, assuming entire data set like uh, i'm just giving a small example if the entire data set has a uh, unique words uh, stating medication helped lot anxiety stress pain side effects headache so now the now our review has a very short length which has few words that matches in the entire block of that so the matrix will be looking like this so the missing it just counts the frequency whatever the review has so it's it looks like uh, the bag of words on the columns and uh, reviews on the the side and just add up the frequencies so so as we know, um, multinomial naive bias is a probabilistic machine learning algorithm used for classification tasks. Uh, here are some uh, perform performance metrics. After training, the, the model's performance was evaluated using a performance metrics on validation set. So you, you can see here accuracy. The model achieved an accuracy of 79% on the validation set. This means uh, that is correctly predicting the sentiment uh, for 79% of reviews in the validation set. And here you can see confusion matrix. Uh, here, the, the true positive is uh, more high, 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 likely more compared to any other. So what I'm trying to say is the re report shows the, mo uh, the model performs better in identifying a positive sentiment compared to a negative sentiment based on the classification report. And for visualization, um, uh, so I have used a small web application uh, to show the uh, sentiment uh, based on uh, by for testing purposes. So user can navigate to the web application in the browser and interact with pages. So user can also navigate, uh, like can can register, log in, and submit uh, the uh, submit the review, and he can get the prediction and. The last uh, is the, the, the this is a library I used for uh, the web application to interact with web application and uh, which it, which handles the incoming request interact with the database and uh, the mo the model which I have trained I have saved as a pickle file and it will interact with the file and also that uh, I have used a counter count vectorizer that is used to, to train the text and that also saved as a pickle file so both will be interacted in this. Uh, uh, with the flask. So there's a small uh, demo that I have uh, that I'm showing you. So you need to uh, register uh, for this so initially. And I have a login page as well. For, so I have taken a first negative uh, review based on the rating you can, you can see here. So I have taken a negative review first. So I'm, I'm expecting to a negative uh, prediction out of it. Um, how did you justify the negative and the positive? Based on the rating, first I'll, so below six rating is considered as negative and I labeled them with the separate column. That's why. Any other questions? 
Thank you. Questions? Yeah. 